You're watching Good Day Tampa Bay. Jennifer Epstein on this last day of May. Uh, by golly, it's time to think about summer camp plans. Mm -hmm. If you haven't already, you're, you're probably a little bit late, but that's okay. I'm going to take you someplace that's going to look out after the kids and something for the adults as well. I'm taking you to see our friends at the Dunedin Fine Arts Center. Oh, we wondered if that light would make it. It didn't, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> we put a light on that building, and then the battery just died. We didn't. We we knew it was going to be iffy, but turns out one dead battery. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, you can see the building back there. Oh yeah. It's light. Lena, as long as I've got my light, everything's fine. Uh, <laughs> we're at the Dunedin Fine Arts Center. Summer. They've been doing summer camps here for over 35 years. They're educational. They're artistic. They're so much fun. Kids love them. We're going to tell you about what the. In fact, this week's theme. Instead of Dungeons and Dragons, it's Donuts and Dragons. <laughs> yes, I'm all in. Me it's Donuts too. <laughs> and Dragons Week. I'm going to tell you all about what's happening with the kids, and then they're always offering great classes yeah. for those of any age all summer long. So we're going to talk about being busy this summer, having fun at the Dunedin Fine Arts Center, whatever the age. All right. Sounds like fun. All right, Charlie. Thank you. Right now, though, we're we'll checking with Charlie Belcher. Hi, good morning. Morning. Hey, oh, what's good day to you, Russell and Jennifer. You, well, you know what they're building here at the Dunedin Fine Arts Center? What? They're, they're building a very fun <laughs> summer. That's what they're building. Yeah. Uh, right in these classrooms here, the Summer Arts Academy in full swing. Oh, so much fun planned for the entire summer. The theme this week, Donuts and Dragons. I love that. We'll also tell you what they're doing for adult classes this summer. So stick around, everybody, and let's all make it a good day, Tampa Bay. Let's check in with Mr. Belcher on this Wednesday morning. Hey, Charlie, how's it going? Good day to you, Dave. I don't want to think about it, but I'm glad we, I know we have to, and I appreciate uh, all you do to keep us safe over the next six months. Uh, I'm in Dunedin, and we're going to talk summer camps instead. And look what these guys are doing. They are doing, uh, d creating digital pottery. I didn't know this was a thing. So much for getting your hands in the mud. Uh, they're learning the process. They even fired that. Look at that, painting that, putting a little design on it. I love it. And in fact, if they had a 3D printer, they could even print it out. Uh, they learn it digitally. And then, of course, there's real pottery that they do here at the Dunning Fine Arts Center as well. A couple of examples of that. We're getting you ready for summer because it's here when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Good day, Tampa Bay, and happy Wednesday to you. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from Dunedin this morning. We're visiting the Dunedin Fine Arts Center, talking about some of the programming they're offering this summer for our kids, as well as for adults. We'll talk about the, the big kids a little bit later, but we'll focus on the younger ones right now with Todd Still, who has been here for more than 25 years, been the head of uh, the... the Youth education for many mm -hmm. years, also the chief programming officer for uh, Dunedin Fun Arts Center. Yeah. Uh, donuts and Dragons. Yeah. You had me at donuts. Yeah. Uh, that's the theme for this week? Exactly, exactly. We like to mix it up, mash it up, use some alliteration with our themes for each week during the summer. And Dragons versus Donuts is this week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or is it Donuts versus dra Yeah, Dragons versus Donuts. Uh, tell me about what, what you've got planned for the summer. What age groups are you serving, and are there any slots left as we look forward to the rest of the summer? We have some spaces here and there. Um, basically, we have ages four and a half all the way up to 14 that are in seven different camps. So we do have a mini master's program. That's for children that are going into kindergarten. Um, we have an arts in motion, which typically is a music theater camp. But since it is arts in motion, it means that we can address other aspects of the visual arts and the performing arts. So we actually, this week, we have karate in there. Oh, wow. So we put the arts and martial arts. And next week, we have dance. And then the next, from weeks three to eight, we have music theater, and then back to dance, and then circus arts. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Uh, so then our other camps, six to ten-year-olds, they rotate through traditional art materials, 2D, 3D, painting, clay. Um, this space we're in right now, we use as a classroom. This is our hands-on museum. And then we have a teen camp where they rotate through Photoshop, darkroom, throwing on the wheel, so oh, wow. the, creating the pottery, and then 2D. We also have an iPad camp, and then we have two mural camps. So. DFAC.org mm -hmm. for all that information. Mm -hmm. DFAC.org for summer camp information. And we'll talk about what they have in store for the big kids this summer when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Morning. Get off of my yard. <laughs> Get out of my yard. Go play in your own yard. <laughs> Sorry, that's what I do now. 
Uh, speaking of summer fun, we're at the Dun Dunedin Fine Arts Center and we're talking about summer fun for the kids. But kids aren't the only ones that get to have fun during the summertime. If you got a little extra time off work, maybe you're, maybe you just retired. Congratulations. You want to take some classes at the Dunedin Fine Arts Center, but when you think of classes, you think of taking art classes here, what do you imagine? What do you picture? Maybe a pottery wheel, maybe some paintbrushes. Look at this. Look at this big old commercial kitchen. Culinary classes offered here. Maybe you want to take one of those. We'll talk about the adult classes being offered this summer as well as an exhibit on display if you just want to come enjoy a little artwork. So stick around, everybody. We're having a good day in Dunedin, and we hope you stay tuned and have one right along with us. And Charlie Belcher is in Pinellas this morning at the Dunedin Fine Arts Center. Checking back in with him and summer camps when we come back. Good day, Tampa Bay. Happy Wednesday to you. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from Dunedin this morning. We're inside the Dunedin Fine Arts Center. And we were talking about summer camps for the kiddos in the last hour, but summer doesn't have to be uh, no fun for the adults. There are plenty of adult educational classes offered here all summer long. And that's where Bryn comes in to tell us about this. It's her job to keep uh, these going smoothly. Uh, all year round, not just for the summer. Do you add more classes in the summer or is it about the same that you offer all year round? Well, it's a little different because we have camp going on. So the schedule is a little smaller um, just because we've got kiddos taking up the yeah. whole ground floor. Yeah, 1,500 kids yeah. will come through this yeah. summer, which is wonderful. That's yes. really great. But let's talk about some of the things offered for adults. This is an amazing facility that you have this giant culinary classroom. Yes. And so you've got culinary arts classes all summer long? Yes, we do. We've got uh, workshops, evening workshops mostly, um, throughout the week and through the weekends um, of all different kinds of cultures and foods. And you can bring a friend, bring some family, bring a bottle of wine, and just oh, I like that. cook something up. And so, Brittany, what's the, what's the commitment? It, if I sign up for that, is it one class? I take the one class and I'm, I will learn something in that class? Or is it, do I need to take it for a week or six weeks? So, for a workshop, um, they range from just a few hours to maybe a couple days. So, okay. that's less of a commitment than a full six week class, which is what we usually offer throughout the sessions. Okay. So, um, we've got different options for anybody with a different time frame. And I don't have to bring my own food, right? You guys are going to No, you don't have to bring your materials. own food. Yes, we have everything that you'd need. You just need to bring closed toed shoes. Uh, <laughs> closed toed shoes. It's, good to know. It's a commonly asked question. Okay, good. <laughs> closed toed shoes. We're taking a culinary class. Uh, uh, so I wanted to show off this facility, but, uh, but let's, let's take a walk, Bren. Let's go uh, to another classroom, which is here, Studio M2. Uh, let everybody know what is done in this classroom. So this classroom is where we hold a lot of our painting or drawing classes. Um, we do figure drawing, live figure drawing, so um, that's another class that is kind of less of a commitment. Okay. Uh, so it's just a few hours you come in and you're doing some just live free, you know, free drawing with the That's, that's pretty model. cool. If you ever, ever wanted to do that, mm -hmm. that you could come in and then just kind of see if it's for you or not and then yeah. sign up for maybe something uh, more long term. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. And again, close to what you use. <laughs> if you want. <laughs> okay. um, what, but what about supplies? If I just have a desire to draw, but, but I don't have the supplies, do you guys provide them? Um, we ask, well, some of our classes do have a materials list, um, okay. which would be um, listed on our website. Okay, so you know when you sign up. Yes. DFAC.org. Yes. Excellent. Brandon, you did a great job. Thank you. I know, you're nervous about the live TV interview. You did it. It's over. <laughs> it's over. I'm now going to come over here and show Russell Rhodes that if they ever did need... <clears throat> Uh, a model. Yeah. Oh. To come in here and. Yeah. What do you think? I, I, I think I think you've got it. I think you've got it. No. Yeah. No. Right. I, I, think it's, I think it's perfect. <laughs> Can you hold that pose though? Draw me. Draw me like your French girls, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I did that. After your slow motion moon fight, I wanted to get into Good Day Goodies, too. <laughs> You're in. Okay, that's two in the last half hour we got in for, for Friday. <laughs> Jen's on it. Sorry, She's on it right now. All right. All right. <laughs> See you later. I'm just going to get us out of this. Bye. See you later.
Good day to you, Russell. We are in Dunedin this morning at the Dunedin Fine Arts Center. We've been talking about summer camps for the kids, adult classes during the summer for adults. But all right, let's say you don't want to take any classes. You just want to come enjoy the works of others who have gone through the classes at some point in their life. You can always do that. They've got some great exhibits up right now, including one that kind of gives you a little behind the scenes of inside the artist's brain as we look at their sketch pads. Sketch pads as an exhibit. I love this idea. We'll tell you about other exhibits coming this summer when Good Day Tampa Bay continues from Dunedin. Good day, Tampa Bay, and happy Wednesday to you. I'm Charlie Belcher in Dunedin this morning at the Dunedin Fine Arts Center. We've been talking about, really, your summer plans for the little ones, whether it's camps, whether it's yourself, you have a little extra time this summer and you want to take some classes and learn everything from culinary to sculpting and painting and any sort of artistic endeavor. And then also if you maybe get some friends visiting you out of town, a lot of people like to take your summer vacations. What are you going to do with them? You can bring them to the Dunedin Fine Arts Center and enjoy some of the exhibits they will have on display this summer, including one that's uh, on display now that I really enjoy that Nathan is going to tell us a little bit more about. It's kind of a little behind the scenes inside an artist's brain, which could be a little dangerous to, yeah, to yeah. delve into. Sometimes scary, but always fun. Yeah. So it's, it's really, it's kind of sketchbooks? It's all sketchbooks, and so, you know, th there's a hidden practice that most artists employ in their studios is, you know, just drawing ideas and, yeah. and working stuff out. Seeing what sticks. Yeah. I, I told, that looks like my 11th grade math book right there, or my, this is, this my is trapper our, keeper. This is one of our favorite local artists, Dennis Gaston. Um, he's, he's really well known for his sort of cross between expressionism and, and illustration. Yeah, and so, doodling yeah. action. Yep. And then look at this thing. I mean, this looks like fine art. I mean, that, that's a, that's a, this is ink. Luis, uh, yeah, Luis Colon. We found Luis on Instagram, and he's an artist that splits time between New York and Peru. And this is all ballpoint ink pen. And so I don't know if, you know, I, I know I used to try to try to draw pictures with ballpoint ink pen in math it, class or whatever, it, you know. Yeah, never looked so, that good. No, no, no. <laughs> Nathan, how long is this, this exhibit going to be on display? This is going to be up through the end of the summer. Um, we've extended this show, actually, because, okay. it, you know, it's been a very popular show. So, nice. and, and we literally just showed you a, a fraction, tiny fraction. It, it, it winds around the halls here and looks really beautiful. Thank you, Nathan, very much. We're going to twist around to one of my favorite people ever to interview. I think it might be my favorite voice to interview. Kathy is the, is the curator here at the Dating Fine Arts Center. Do you host your own podcast? You should host your own podcast. I do not, but I listen to a lot of them. You should, you should with that voice, I would listen to your podcast. Uh, now, tell me about the fabric show that's coming. Well, every other summer we do fiber arts, a uh, series of fiber arts exhibits. So this summer we have four incoming shows. Uh, this is an example by Meg Pierce, which is a group show called Stitched and Died. Meg Pierce is a Sarasota artist, but we do have three other solo mm -hmm. exhibits. Uh, Hannah O'Hare Bennett, Regina Durante Gestro, and Kat Howard. They're coming from different parts uh, across the country. One is an installation artist working with silk and cocoons. Oh, fun. And um, the other artist, one is a quilter, uh, but very contemporary. Nice. So every other summer we do the fiber art exhibits and they're supremely popular. I love it. And any wearable art show is coming up too. Is and that, wearable art. Is that July? Year 17. Is that July? August 26th. Oh, August. There you go. Yep. August 26th, dfac.org for all of this we're talking about. Stick around, more Good Day Tampa Bay headed your way right after this. Good day to you, Jennifer and Russell. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Sorry, I said that. I just started yelling all of a sudden. <laughs> Scaring the campers already. I'm at the, I'm at the Dunedin Fine Arts Center, where summer camp is in full swing. These budding artists right here are warming up their brains and their fingers at the moment before they get to work back on their mural over here. Now, the theme this week, Donuts and Dragons. So this mural, the, this is the Donut Castle, and the dragons are attacking the Donut Castle. And I'm told there might be some bagels hidden in there as well. I'm not really sure how they fit in, but we'll find out when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. And we'll be checking back in with Charlie Belcher. He's at the Dunedin Fine Arts. And we'll be checking back with him all about summer camps and summer art when we come back.
Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from Dunedin this morning. We're inside the Dunedin Fine Arts Center. We've been talking about summer camps for the kids, summer programs for adults, exhibits that will be on display all summer long. And we're going to wrap things up talking about those summer camps for children again, including mural camp, which is going on this week. Todd Still uh, is the... Uh, the uh, chief programming officer in charge of the uh, education, youth education, been here for over 25 years. Yeah, you're, when it comes to kids' camps at Dunedin Fun Arts Center, Todd is the man. Yeah. Uh, tell me about the mural camp. Well, it's a great, uh, it's a great opportunity for kids actually to get together and work collectively on one piece. Uh, granted, they do their sketches and their ideas, so they have individual stuff, but it all comes together. They have to work together. One day. Yes, that's And cool. then you end up keeping them and putting them on display for like mm -hmm. the whole next year, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what we have on the walls here, these are from last summer, and so as these are completed from this summer, we'll start swapping them out. I love it. I love it. Uh, some spaces left for the summer, dfac.org. I want to come in here and meet some of these artists who will be putting their murals on the wall next year. Of course, the theme, Donuts and Dragons. So my artist's over here. Let's see, it's a, it's a donut castle. The dragon, well, you know what, why don't I let the artist tell me? So tell me what's the theme, what's going on in your mural? So there's dragons and there's donuts and the, the dragons are attacking the donuts. Well then, call me a dragon. Mm. Right, because I mean, if I see a donut, I'm not just gonna leave it there. That was, wait, what'd you say? That was the most cheesy joke ever. Kids, stick around, man. I'm just getting started. I, I do much cheesier uh, jokes than that. Uh, all right, now, do, do you want to tell me, I, I heard a rumor that there's some bagels hidden in here. Yes. So, the bagels are actually on the dragon side. Whoa. And they're oh. disguised as donuts. Oh, that's, I was going to guess that. So, they're basically ninjas. They're like they're spies. Bagels, they're, spies. <laughs> they're like spies. Yes. They're like, they're, so they're, so if, <laughs> I'm never going to be able to look at a bagel the same way again. They are betraying so, the donut. So a bagel is like a donut in disguise. Yeah. So, you're right, it's like, get out of here, man. You got a hole in the center, but you're not sweet and yeah. delicious. And they have no frosting, so they, so it kind of tricks the donut and do, the donuts and the donut wow. thing. But well, well, Go ahead, I'm sorry, is there more to the story? Yes, yes, so there's a, um, there's donut ninjas. There yes. is, um, there is, um, here, right here, um, <laughs> there is a bagel that acts, that uh, stabbed a donut with a sword. Over here, yeah, we're getting a little yes. violent over here. Okay. Yeah. Um, and uh -huh. then there's a bagel. There's, a, there's a, a, a bagel climbing the donut castle. Okay. So who ultimately? I mean, I know this is a moment in time captured. But I got to know how the story ends. Who ends up winning this battle? Have we thought this far out yet? We haven't, but like. Um, most likely, probably the dragons would win. Well, of course. I mean, come on. I mean, like, everyone loves donuts. Well, if it's dragon v. donut, I mean, I'm taking the dragons, kids. Right? I'll... The dragons are fighting the donuts because, like, the dragons want to eat the donuts. They oh, I get You don't have to explain that part. That part I get, man. Yeah, what, what, who wins this battle, do you think? Uh, dragons. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Right. And... Anybody banging on the donuts? Anybody think the donuts are going to win that battle? <laughs> no. Hey, this is only like a six-hour show. I have to go now. But thank you for telling me all of that. I appreciate it. You're awesome. There we go. <laughs> Mural camp. I think they're having a good time. Uh, DFAC.org. Russell. Love oh, yeah. it. Yeah, so, can, Russell, you say something witty now. What? He wants you to say something witty. Say you something you witty? say something. <laughs> What? Well, I got to get in costume. I think the I think the donuts are going to win because the dragons are going to want to eat the donuts, and that's why the the donuts win. How's that? Oh, no, the word. dragons will win. <laughs> <laughs> Just fight me. If you guys have nightmares tonight, I'm sorry. We have to go. I told you it would get cheesier, didn't I? Say something yeah. witty. All right. See ya. See, see you later. I don't know where this all went, but it went somewhere. <laughs>